Hello and welcome to Poetry Sunday. Today we have a poem by Edmund Waller. And it's interesting, uh, the, the commentary that Bloom has on here. I, I'm back to the reading from the poem, best poems of the English language uh, compiled by Harold Bloom. And, uh, apparently Edmund Waller was uh, apprehended by Parliament. Uh, and, and he was banished from England after being imprisoned, but then later pardoned by Thomas Cromwell. Uh, who a lot of folks, having read the Wolf Hall trilogy recently, have been going on and on about uh, Cromwell. Uh, and and, and I, the, this next sentence is what really struck me, <laughs> as some some of the uh, fun commentary from Bloom in here. Famous as a poet in his own day, he is now rightly passed over, except for the charming lyric included so, for those curious and want to read more by Edmund Waller, uh, uh, feel free to do so. I'd be curious to hear what your thoughts are. If this is the the pinnacle, the only one worth remembering or not. So this is titled Song. Go, lovely Rose, tell her that wastes her time in me, that now she knows when I resemble her to thee how sweet and fair she seems to be. Tell her that's young, and shuns to have her graces spied, that hadst thou sprung in deserts where no men abide, thou must have uncommended died. Small is the worth of beauty from the light retired. Bid her come forth, suffer herself to be desired, and bl not blush so to be admired. Then die that she, the common fate of all things rare, may read in thee. How small a part of time they share that are so wondrous, sweet, and fair. So, there you have it. Nice little poem. Uh, tomorrow we'll have one from Andrew Marvel, who has quite a, a bigger section than I had expected in here uh, from Bloom. But uh, I hope you have a great rest of your poetry Sunday.